It was supposed to be a celebratory time for Deja Harrison. She watched her stepbrother use his ID for the first time as a 21-year-old at Harris Casino, but instead, it turned into this. No, 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 no. no you said no, I had a fake I'm military ID. That just shocked me completely because who would lie about being in the Army? And like, I was just furious that somebody would say something like that. Harrison and her family went to the casino during the early morning hours on Tuesday. She said the employee went to scan her driver's license, but the machine wouldn't work. So the 23 year old from New Orleans showed this military ID along with her vaccine card. But you said I had a fake military ID, right? The employee in this now viral video can be heard saying he believed the IDs were real but didn't believe Harrison was the person pictured on them. I'm saying that I don't think that it's you. You don't think that this is me, this picture right here, you don't think that this is me, I have two IDs, this is my face, I'm in E6, actually I'm a second lieutenant now, you don't believe that I'm a second lieutenant. So what's the problem? It's no way I'm frauding a military, that's a, a federal crime, like it's no way I'm frauding um, you know, a uh, military ID. Harrison went on trying to prove she is in fact the person on her driver's license and military ID. But that's when the employee threatened to call police. This is a valid driver's license. None of them are well, here, expired. What is this? What is no, this? What, what, I'll call NOPD and then you can call them. Yeah. Call them. Please call them. Kind of disheveled in the video. It was because I was just you know, like I, I was just in disbelief about the situation that somebody would treat a service member like that. Harrison filed a civil rights complaint and hired a lawyer to help her figure out what to do next. While disappointed and frustrated this even happened to a military member, she's glad she stood up for herself. Reporting from New Orleans, Christina Watkins. But you said I had a fake military ID, right? WDSU News. In a statement sent to WDSU, Harris said in part, Caesars Entertainment has an unwavering commitment to diversity and our military. We are saddened by the situation and will continue to evaluate our processes and ensure that we uphold both our commitment to our guests and our regulars. We have reached out to Ms. Harrison, who let us know she will be retaining legal counsel. As such, we will have no further comment. To see the full statement, head right now to our website, WDSU dot com.